So you're thinking about moving to Lubbock, Texas. Well, hold your horses, cowboy, because this place sucks. I'm just kidding, I love this place, but I know a lot of people actually probably wouldn't like Lubbock. So today, we're gonna be going through all the things that you need to know if you do not want to move here. So point number one, we're gonna start with the size of Lubbock. If you are wanting to live in a bigger city, Lubbock is not for you. Lubbock is actually the 11th largest city in Texas. However, we do not have a big city feel. We are not a Dallas, a Houston, an Austin, a San Antonio. We don't have big old shopping centers. We don't have indoor skydiving, movie theaters, and bowling alleys. But we do have a lot of different things. We have a lot of ranch land. We have a lot of cattle. We have a lot of cotton. And we have a lot of guns which is great. So if you are someone who is looking for more of a big city feel, you want a big urban environment, maybe you're New York type, Lubbock's not the place for you. Keep that in mind when you're thinking about moving here. If you look at this graph here, you will see that we were one of the fastest growing cities in Texas. So maybe in the future, we will be more of a big city, who knows? If you're not a city slicker, you might like Lubbock because Lubbock is extremely, that's right folks, conservative. We are one of the most conservative places in the country, believe it or not. In 2020, 65% of people voted for Donald Trump, which is great for some people and for some people it's not. Some people do not want to be around conservative folks. They hate them and they don't think they're smart people or whatever. Lubbock is so conservative in fact that we were actually one of the first cities in Texas to ban abortion before they did the whole federal thing and gave power to the states. Lubbock kind of led the charge in 2021 and said, you know what? We want this to be illegal in our city anyway, so bah. Maybe if you're more liberal leaning or something like that, I'm not saying don't come here. There's a great range of people here. So I'm not saying don't come here if you are liberal. However, that might be something you wanna be cognizant and aware of. If you don't mind being around a lot of conservative people, then great, come on down. But if not, don't move here, which is the title of the video. I'm just helping you. In Texas, we do not have a state income tax. We have a property tax. So that means that you don't get taxed on your income. You get taxed on the property you own. So if you don't own any property, you don't get taxed on it. There's still a sales tax, of course. You see the tax rates going from about two and a quarter percent, two and three quarters percent, depending on where you live, what school district you live and whatnot. Essentially, whatever the tax assessed value of your house is, you're going to pay taxes on it. We can use my house as an example. My house is tax assessed at $245,000 and my tax rate's about 2.3%. So a lot of people don't like that because they think it discourages them from owning real estate here, which I think it doesn't because you're not getting taxed on your income. So it really balances out if anything. If you really, really don't wanna pay a property tax, think about it, but I wouldn't really care all that much because if you're in a state like California or New York, you're gonna be paying a state income tax. So something to consider. Okay, so point number four, I feel like we're beating a dead horse at this point, but if this is the first video you're seeing, then you have no idea. The weather in Texas can suck sometimes, really, really, really bad. It can get very cold and especially in Lubbock, extremely windy. So windy, in fact, that your balls will shrivel up. <laughs> so windy, in fact, that you could potentially blow away here in Lubbock. There are in the winter times where you will feel pain from the cold here because the cold weather is exacerbated by the wind. When you're walking around outside, if you're walking to Canvas, which I don't really know why you would be unless you're a UPS delivery guy, you will feel cold. You're really gonna need to bundle up. Fortunately for Lubbock, we are one of the least humid climates here in Texas. I helped some clients out one time who had eczema. I didn't know that eczema flares up because of humidity. They moved here and she has not had a flare up in a year. So go Lubbock. Okay, I'm gonna take my jacket off because it's getting really hot. You're obviously here watching the video. Give me a call if you were so interested in moving to Lubbock. I would love to talk to you. If you're just interested or you know you wanna move here, call me, my number is right here. It will be me you're calling. So I will have a direct conversation with you. We'll set up a game plan and get you here. So do that if you can. Okay. This is point number five. Lubbock is very rural. So we have a lot of cows that are outside the city in a lot of places and sometimes it smells like straight up sh For lack of a better, it smells straight up like poop. You get these wafts of cow excrement sometimes. They just attack the city like a nuclear bomb. You, you don't want to be sniffing it because it, it can sometimes make you gaggy and not in the good ways. Yes, it smells bad. You actually do get accustomed to it, which is weird. I've actually kind of grown to like it a little bit. 
which is, I would say like once or twice a month, starts stinking really bad, especially at night, where the whole town just smells like dookie. So think about it, really consider that. Point number six, I would be remiss if I did not discuss this one. So we are obviously home to the Texas Tech Red Raiders, Texas Tech University. We've got a very community oriented and centered town. A lot of people here love Texas Tech. They go to the games, they go to all the events, so many clubs and organizations. I mean, if we lose a football game, the whole town is dead. If we win a football game, the whole town looks, I mean, it seems like it's gonna burn down. It's that crazy. And if you put up a UT sign in your yard or an OU flag, you're, it's probably gonna get burned down or taken away just like a Beto sign would or something. Think about that before you move here. If you don't want to be dealing with that kind of college town vibe, that's something to consider as well. Now, obviously the further outside the city you go, the less you're gonna feel that because tech is in central Lubbock. And I would say anywhere really around tech, you're really gonna be feeling that. But if you move out of the city, not near as bad. If you already knew that you did not want to live here, that's great. I don't know why you spent the time watching this video, but if this video didn't discourage you at all, maybe give me a call so that we can discuss your options in getting here. And I would get here ASAP because Lubbock is still booming and growing. So thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next week. Totals.